Hello and welcome to another Technology Guru video. Today I'm excited to bring you an application that's called Grammarly. This is basically a spell checker on steroids. If you're someone like me who's always nervous about writing stuff and publishing it online because you're afraid you're going to make that oh so critical grammatical error, well, Grammarly can help you with that. Not only is it the world's best spell checker in the fact that it completely blows any other spell checker out of the water, but if you go on and get the premium version, which is what I have. There's a premium version and a free version. The free version is completely fine. I use it for months. It'll uh, do the spell check for you. It'll do punctuation for you. But the premium version is where the real magic begins to happen because what will happen with Grammarly is that it'll actually allow you to click on a word and choose like another alternative word that fits that word. So let me stop rambling about it and let me show you. So right here we're under my Grammarly profile dashboard. I'm going to open up something that I was writing inside of Grammarly, an ebook that I was writing. So what you can do is you can open up the Grammarly editor and write something in it. Make sure everything is fixed and all your grammatical errors are correct and then copy it out and then paste it into whatever form of text editing software that you may want to use, such as Microsoft Word, Pages for Mac, whatever you're using. Now, if you do use Microsoft Word, Grammarly has a built-in plugin for you guys, so that's awesome. All right, so as you can see right here, we're going to see a few things come up. You're going to see little different colored lines, like a yellow line here. There's going to be something here. So it tells me, okay, there's a repetitive word, help. Suggested enhancement will assist you in. That is amazing. So it saw that that word was being used a lot within this paragraph, and it suggested that I replace it with that. Also, as you can see here, uh, punctuation is also fixed. Change website to site, uh, be approved. It's in a passive voice. You may want to write that in present tense. And as we scroll down here, we're going to see a few different things. Whatever's underlined in red, that means that that word is either misspelled or they think you've used the wrong tense of that word. So as you can see here, we've got the yellow lines, which means critical errors. And then the red lines, they mean like grammatical errors. Uh, so a lot of these you're going to see over on the right hand side. It's going to tell you exactly what that error or grammatical mistake was. So like right here, this word box, it's suggesting that I need a comma there, which I went back and looked at it and I did need a comma. So if we go here, we're going to be able to go down. One of the great things about Grammarly is like this sentence here, in order to begin making money, you know, that's a little wordy. Basically, they want me to change that to just the word to. So to begin making money from your videos, and it does, it sounds way better. Uh, so it'll tell you when to add commas, when to take out words, when to put in specific sentences, when a sentence is fragmented. Now, this is the Grammarly editor. If we go over to our profile, we're going to see that we have a personal dictionary that we can add words that we type that, you know, Grammarly may not recognize that we type a lot for our businesses. So for me, like my YouTube channel name, uh, TubeBuddy and things like that, I'll put into my profile here so that will not flag Grammarly. And then if I go over to a YouTube video, the beautiful thing about Grammarly is it has a Google Chrome plugin. If you see up here in the upper right hand corner, this right here is the Grammarly plugin. So with that plugin, any site that I'm writing on, whether it be a YouTube video like this, or a WordPress blog post like you see here, Grammarly is going to, if we look right here at the description of this video, Grammarly notices some mistakes in this specific area here. So what's going to happen is you can actually highlight over the word just like you would in the Grammarly editor and fix the mistakes within the website or application that you're in. So I'm going through right now in real time and I'm fixing all of my grammatical mistakes that are within this. Now, another beautiful thing is if we go back over to, let's go to this email right here that I've opened up within Gmail because it works within any online client that you have available. What you're going to do is you're going to see like a little number down here in the lower right hand box of whatever you know thing you're writing in. If we click on that, we're going to go ahead and go to right here. You're going to be able to edit it within like the Grammarly editor and it's going to show you all of the mistakes over on the right hand side. So you is misspelled, click that, that'll fix it. Dakota needs to be capitalized because it's a state. Click that. Investments does not need a Z. Go ahead and fix that. And marketing needs to be capitalized. So it did all of that. And then once we're done, all you have to do is go back to Gmail or application that you are in and you have fixed all of your writing mistakes. I can't emphasize this enough, how amazing this application is. When you write something online, you want to present yourself as professional and like you know what you're talking about. 
but when there's silly grammatical mistakes made and you can't spell a word right, and a lot of times it's because you're typing really quick. So what you can do is you can type something up, and then once you have it already typed, go back and look at all of the different mistakes that Grammarly is providing to you. Now let's talk about the pricing model of Grammarly. Basically what you can do with Grammarly is you can be just fine with the free version, and I'll link down below where you can get that, or you can upgrade anytime at a later date to the premium version to pay monthly or yearly that will provide you with all of the advanced issues like uh, replacing a word and probably my favorite feature. Let's say we want a synonym for the word click. All we have to do is double click on that word within the Grammarly editor and then if we look right here it's going to say okay the first synonym could be to be successful, agree, match, succeed or the second term could be to make a clicking sound which is obviously what we're doing so you could say tick, sound, snap, bang so I'm going to stop rambling about this application. I think you guys get the point. If you need help with your writing, you need to check out Grammarly. I'll link it down below. I love what these guys are doing over there, and they continually update the app to improve it and release new and better features. So check it out. Guys, if you like this video, slap that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if it helped you out, or if you know somebody who could use this tool, share the video with them. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos, and I will see you guys in the next one.